right, so uh, we're here in Lansing, Michigan. Um, we're in the middle of a heat wave. It's getting up into the low and mid 90s during the day. I don't want to be out during the heat to change my oil. So this is going to be like a rush job. And the reason why I'm making the video is just to kind of show you how easy it is uh, to change. This is just your oil. So I have, this is from Honda. Uh, that GM4. A lot of people use Mobile One. So, whatever you want to use, I don't care. I don't have a preference. So, I'm going to get down and dirty here. You're talking about a couple of inches of clearance, a half a foot of clearance. So, I made my own little oil pan. Uh, it's the bottom half of a bird seed container. You're looking at two bolts. This is on the 2020 Ruckus. We are not on the exhaust side. We're on the side with the Kickstarter. So if you look down right next to the kickstand, sorry for the shaky video. So this is the bolt that we're looking at to take out the oil, to drain the oil. And then there's another, uh, there's another bolt that I'm gonna show you out here in the very front and that is the screen so i have already loosened this up the reason why i did is i was using a wrench try not to use an adjustable wrench there are wrenches that fit perfectly <laughs> uh, i am just in a rush job and i'm trying to get it done uh, so i have already loosened this bolt so i'm going oh i thought i did so I'm gonna let this drain, and while this drains, I am going to, all right, I'm gonna tell you, it is a little bit cleaner if you can catch the bolt and not drop the bolt into the oil pan. There's that. Make sure the washer is on there, there's a little washer. Make sure the washer's on there. So you're gonna let that drain. That's about two thirds of a quart of oil. <clears throat> All right. So while that is draining, I'm gonna try to prop the phone up here. I'm hoping that you can see what I'm going to do here. But I'm gonna take out the screen. This engine doesn't have a filter, it's got a screen. So, I like to check the screen to see if I got any metal flakes or uh, anything that's in the engine that I should worry about. Ooh! Shouldn't be on that tight. I'm not sure why it is. So, now I'm hoping that there's not a lot of oil. I'm just going to let this continue to drain out. There's still a little bit left. Uh, it does run pretty clear. It's new. It's still in the break-in period. So, I've changed the oil uh, a, a couple of times. This is the third time already. So, uh, I'm letting that drain out. So, here's this. If oil comes out, I'm just gonna oh, the wrong way, dummy. All right. Well, we're, rather than make a mess, I'm looking at my uh, my oil pan right now, my oil, and it's a slow drip. It is a little dark. So, I for ha ha's. If I can do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the bullet back up in there. Hand tight, a little more than hand tight. 
So I'm going to tighten it down with that. I'll wipe off my hand here. It's awkward because I'm fat. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tighten this up. A little more than hand tight. You don't need a torque wrench for this. Just tighten it down just a little bit. Okay. So I think that that should be... Now, again, one of the reasons why I'm making the video is because you're not... This adjustable wrench is shit. This is not the right tool for the job. It works, and I'm in a hurry. So that's it. That's on there. Now I'm back to this. This is the screen. Let's see if I can take this off and you guys can see. All right, so... There is a rubber ring around that. You want to keep that there. And then there's the spring. You pull the spring out. And there's the screen. Ouch. So, this is what the screen... If I could just get this shit to focus here. This is the screen. It looks pretty good. You look down in there. Ooh. Oh, is that any what is that okay that's just oil so it looks pretty good there's no metal chips no flakes nothing like that the oil actually looks pretty good so I'm not gonna mess with it I'm gonna put it right back in this goes into the engine first and the spring applies the pressure to it to keep it up against the block or up in the block. So I'm gonna carefully put this back. I'm gonna move the oil pan. Uh, carefully put that back. And then, there's something I wanted to show you. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna wipe my fingers off. Wiping my fingers off. So, I did get a little bit of oil on me. So what I did, is around the outer edge of this cap, I roughed it up. God damn, phone won't focus. I roughed up the edge. I took a, uh, I took it to a uh, one of the stone wheels, and I roughed it up because when you put it on, you have to push and turn at the same time, and you can't do it with an oily hand. Honda made a nice smooth part uh, so it's difficult to get it on there with slippery hands. I'm going to go back and again this is awkward one-handed. I'm going to tighten this up a little more than hand tight. You don't want to crank it down because you crank it down too much if you crank it down too much, uh, fuck it, I just hit my head. <laughs> so, you crank it down too much and you'll crush the rubber seal. And uh, you crush the rubber seal and it's no longer good. So, here is, <clears throat> that's my drip pan. Uh, got a couple of drips. Uh, I gotta worry about that. I don't wanna, I'm not trying to piss off my my landlord, you know what I'm saying? So right now I'm going to the filler hole side. This is on the exhaust. Alright, so there is my dipstick. I'll take that out. I'm gonna rest it in there. I don't want to rest god damn it see what happens because I don't want to rest it on anything dirty so 
son of a bitch. So much for keeping it clean. Speedy funnel. You got a pack of three. Oh boy. So, that's not gonna stay in there, so I'll, you guys are gonna look at my ugly face. Okay, so I have made a little bit of a mess. Uh, the paper funnel doesn't actually fit completely into the hole. So, uh, seeing I got the dipstick dirty, you wipe it completely off so there's nothing on the dipstick. Can I get a focus, please? Uh, so, screw it all the way in. Open it back up. Take your reading. I don't know if you can see. The fucking Android phone got a shit camera in it. It doesn't want to focus on it. Well, so I'm going to show you that it's up to the hash marks. You know, if my phone would just, uh, you know, you're probably looking at maybe a little bit. You have to add a little bit. Please focus. Please. So, just for ha-has, I am going to add just a little tiny bit of oil. And that is it. That is basically, uh, it took me, what, 10 minutes with the improper tools uh, to do my oil change. AutoZone or any place that sells oil takes recycled oil. So I can bring that back to any store that I want. I'll just use the jug when I'm done with it. So uh, that's it. That is the oil change on a 2020 Ruckus 50cc. Took me about 10, maybe 12 minutes or so with the improper tools. And uh, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching.